What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video for you guys today versus TSM. Our league match yesterday decided to record the gameplay. Well actually this is this is theater, but now I decided to do theater because I think it's a little bit better to explain to you guys. But today's episode is gonna be a little bit different. Usually my episodes consist of the whole match, consists of being pretty long. But today we're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna start off the second side where they get a pretty good lead and we manage to come back with only like two minutes remaining. So right now I'm not having the best game. So if you guys are new to the series, basically what I do is hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. All right, the audio is completely fine. But if you're not, if you're new to the series, basically what I do is give you strategy and pro tips as the game goes on. You know, explain what I did right, what I did wrong, what I could have done better. So right here, I always go tin. Now they decide to do the tin strat. It's starting to be, um, it's pretty popular nowadays. Two people go tin, two people go mid. The mid's job, all they have to do is throw it over while the two people tin, uh, du a double team, the guy who ever tin, which in this case was me, kill me. And then they get so pretty much, they pretty much almost have a free dunk. It's a pretty good play. It kind of sucks. And that's exactly what happens to us. They get a dunk on us. We're like, oh man, it's looking bad. Cole Chan gets in the head glitch. Nothing I could do here. I was literally screwed. Now we're down by three. I, bet, I believe they get ball again. At this point, we're like, shit, we're screwed. You know, it's looking... It's looking pretty bad. We decided to rotate, but we do manage to get these kills out of our base. So they, they are up by three points right now. But, you know, the fact that we got control of our base again is a really good thing. On this map, what you always want to do is control train either side. Train is a, such an important spot. Right here, I almost get that kill while Tempest, a uh, Wheat Tempest, literally just like grazes my head. Right here was a really bad play. So as you can see in your screen, it's pretty visible at the moment. The camel guy is right in the left corner of the grandma's. Right here, Annihilator is being shot at Slasher. Sla you can't, it's so hard to kill the Camel guy, right? There's nothing you can do at this point. So the Annihilator guy actually gets him getting a three-piece because we all focus the ball guy. I turn around for a second. Boom, boom, boom. That was a dumb play by me. I 100% should have been focused on Pac-Man and trying to kill him instead of turning around and trying to kill someone that already has a dunk. So right now, it's 6 to 11. We're like, all right, man. Uh, we got to pull out some shit out of ass. It's looking really bad right now. They have us in the spawn trap again. So... I go, we rotate back. You always got, you never want to take shortcut, guys. Don't push front grandmas. It's such a high risk, high reward. It's usually going to cost your team the game. You want to rotate back, get control of your base, then push out that way. So three of us rotate back. I get one. I believe they get this dunk though. I get the kill immediately. All right, we got three down. They're up by seven points. And we're starting to lose faith. We get all four dead. And right here, I believe I push train. I don't know who's train with me right now, but I push train. I do the shoot melee, get the guy Fentis, he throws ball over, it's a really good strat, that way he can control middle, I can run ball, and I'm like, alright, I'm trying to hold the ball, I'm like, I'm just going to go for a one, I go for it, and they intercept it, and we're like, alright, we're still down by seven, I try to stay composed, in a situation like this, guys, like, especially when you've been playing for a while, you know, like, it's doable, like, it's going to be hard, it's going to be frustrated, frustrating, but it's doable. On spawn, we obviously, you guys can see in the mini map, I'll show you right quick, the ball is alley. Now, there's three, three of my teammates preeminent, but they can easily grab the ball and dip alley. So, right here, we basically know they're most likely going to run a tin. It's a smart play to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and push tin in advance, try to get control of, of the tin area. There was a guy already pushed up. Good play by Ivy and takes me out. So, we're going to uh, try to stop this. Slasher actually does a good play right here. Pulls out his scythe. Pretty much guarantees the two-piece with the scythe. Gets them both. Starts a ball push. So, there's still hope, right? We're down seven. Two minutes and 45 seconds remaining. It's looking a little bit hard, but we're still we still have a chance. Right here, I'm just trying to push shots, stay alive on the guy in the head glitch. It's such a hard gunfight, an awkward gunfight to win. Slasher ends up cleaning them up. They start my three teammates go for a push. Now, right here, I spawn out. So if you spawn 10, right? And this play, especially when you're a little bit desperate and you have such a big deficit, seven points with two minutes and a half remaining. There's no point for me to rotate all the way back 10, all the way back front grandmas. No point at all. So instead, I spawn a front 10 door. I'm just going to push right away. I'm going to go hit them with a flank and try to help my teammates out. Maybe even get a dunk out of this. You see, the only problem with this, I force them to spawn like that white truck area where you just saw that one guy spawn. So that's like the only problem. But, you know, luckily I'm here to get the kill right away. I kill him. My teammates get a one. I should have took this slow right here, that gunfight right there. I just like jumped out like a maniac. That was kind of a bad play by me. I could have possibly got that kill. But now, hey, we got a one. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. You know, we're still down six points. It's still pretty damn hard to get six points on this map unless you get in a spawn trap. So we're just hoping for the best right now. And this side, 
especially like train you want to have two to three guys always train since i have two guys and we have no one middle they can easily throw the ball for yards do something like that so since my teammates are both holding train they're not even pushing it i'm like all right i'll take i'll watch middle i'm gonna see if anyone's gonna try to do a certain play like that and what do you know someone's trying to get control of middle i kill pac-man you know i'm trying to shoulder peek make sure there's another guy middle i start calling out john help me help me help me i'm trying to distract them and you see me just uh pre-firing baiting and john helps me boom we get to down i was gonna go for the one here but one afterburner's banned, so it's really hard to hit it without afterburner. And two, my teammates have control back barred, so we need a dunk. Bro. I cannot go for one here, so I immediately jump and cut to fences. We get two dead. I go top barn. That way, there's no way for me to die. I'm just doing all these corners and cuts and routes. Right here, I stay patient. I make sure I get a little bit boost. Not panicking at all. You know, I want to make sure I have enough boost. I'm not going to just start, like, spamming it and I can't jump and then I end up dying. So right here, this is kind of the spawn trap you want, guys. Even though I think Slasher ends up dying. They do all the all right, explain it real quick. We're nine to thirteen. We most likely have this dunk, which are only gonna be down by two. So they did a good job of owing. It was a smart play by them. So the kind of setup you want to have a guy is like L wall around there watching the full OE. That was a pretty good play. We have a teammate watching breaks playing reset. We have a guy top barn. If you did not know the ball, the the middle guy could pass a ball past top barn very easily. Like you just have to jump a little bit and it reaches. So it's pretty good. And then me kind of controlling your spawn, back barn, and then your spawn. So we have a setup right here. So right here, I do a really, really smart play. I make sure no one's on the bot guy. Make sure he has a dunk. And I go to break. So I repinch their spawn. They expect me maybe to be fences, top barn, you know, do something like that. But I thought ahead. I'm like, all right, they're going to be all set up over the ball. They're going to probably be pre that. So I decided to slowly see me creep in, checking my corners, taking my time. And I get the opening kill. Then my teammates get one, three dead. John gets the last guy. Boom, four dead. Remember what I told you? Only way we could possibly do this is if we get a spawn trap. Well, we kind of got them a little spawn trap, which helped a lot. So right here, uh, Wheats kills John. Or like, all right, we're screwed. I do. I notice I have camo. Pump camo instantly as soon as I get out, get out the the window. And Wheats is not even looking, so I just grab all right away. And I have hardwired. That's what made the best thing. When I have camo on, this goes to any of you guys. If you have camo and you know you're gonna use it soon. Or, like, you, as soon as you, the meter is full, make sure to put it on hardwire. Do not die with freaking camo, like, because you got EMP. Please don't be that dumb. So, I kind of skipped it while explaining it, but Slasher, in the midst of everything, uh, Slasher gets a, goes for a dunk, dies, but ends up getting a one. So, we're up by a point. I'm like, all right. My whole point, a whole goal is right here is just to play time. We're up by one. All we really want to do is get kills. I'm just boosting around. Try to save life with ball. Now, this is where I break the one. This could have made us possibly go up 15-13. Uh, but the funny part of out of all this, Slasher does end up killing too. But the funny part is, uh, John, after this map, was like, dude, app, it's kind of good that you missed that. I was like, why? Because the ball would have reset middle, and they would have probably been closer to our base, which kind of makes sense. So right here, I use an RC card to gain information, maybe kill someone. He does have flight jacket. I Slasher kills me and him at the same time. He has flight jacket because afterburn is banned, so why wouldn't he? And boom. We win the map. So, it all came down to us playing right, getting the right kills, and setting up that spawn trap and playing as a team. We did a really good job. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know it was a little shorter than usual. I just wanted to show you this guys' this little good comeback that we did in the match. We ended up winning the match 3-0. Hope you enjoyed today's video. This video boy, happy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as well. And I'm out. Hope you all have a good day. Peace.